this weekend. A legendary call was made that still resonates today. Squawk on the Street anchor Mark Haynes called the bottom of the stock market what we refer to here as the Haynes bottom. Take a listen. However, I'm going to step out on a limb here. Uh, this I is really, the big, hold on I, everyone, we've been I, waiting for this. I think we're at a bottom. I really do. Exchange actually went for a lot longer than that. He talked about his methodology, looking at uh, percentage of S&P percentages, uh, and then I, it was pre-open, as I recall. Right. Aaron said, well, we're get, we might get a bounce today, at least. I'll give you credit even for that. And Mark essentially said, I think this one has actual legs. Yeah, I, mean, I used to go back and forth with Mark on email, and he would just send me an email that says, 9 to 1. 9 to 1 down the up volume is when he said, listen, that's the crescendo. We used to call it the crescendo together. And he was always, I say, he would say to me, Jim, is it a crescendo? And I would say, I think it's crescendo. And he would come back and say, no, it's not a crescendo. It, because what he did was he timed it. He didn't make a million calls. That's what was so effective. Like when he said, I'll go out on a limb, Mark did not give you a single call during the decline other than that there was trouble. So when he did that, it was a combination of all his indices and fear. And he made the calls, really gutsy call. No reason to make it. That's what matters. He had no reason to make it. And he wasn't off by a week or a month. No reason to <laughs> it make it. Pretty much right on I, the nose. I came on later that day and I said, look, you know, when Mark makes a call, he makes them very rarely. So just obey it. Cover your short. Bye. Because that's how meaningful he, you know, we, look, it's so long. There's a lot of viewers who didn't know him now, sadly. But when he made a call, it, it was so not idle. A lot of guys said, well, yeah, I like it here. No. We wow. never did that.